hybrid energy storage system are currently being used in transport vehicles and electrical vehicles due to the potential of having a high power and energy density as well as the high lifespan. Hi, welcome to the PZ Engineering channel, Passion to Excel. In this video, we are going through a model of a hybrid energy storage system in MATLAB Simulink software. To be more specific, we are going through a battery management strategy of a hybrid lithium ion and lead acid energy storage system in transport vehicles. Before we start with our, our model, if you are not yet part of our family, please be part of our family by subscribing to our channel, share our contents, comment and like this video. You can as well join our membership team or donate to our channel in order to keep on doing video like this and as well to have access to the models and special attention on your comments. Now let's go through our model. Here we have our hybrid lead acid and lithium ion energy storage system model. Let's just zoom it. There we have our lead acid battery and we have our lithium ion battery. The lead acid battery size it is 12 volt 6 ampere hour rated current and as well we have our lithium ion lithium ion battery Our lithium ion of 12.8 volts and 10.4 ampere hour. In other words, it is a hybrid lead acid bed, hybrid lead acid and lithium ion energy storage system where the lead acid is, is 12 and 6 ampere hour and lithium ion is 12.8 and 10.4. Here we have our um, pack and boost converters for lead acid and for lithium ion, and as well, we have our DC bars of. 14.5 now we are going for the, our switches where the switches current demand and our alternator since we are using a normal car we are representing alternator we have our required current required current uh, the required current the current, required current from the lead acid and current from the lithium ion and here we have our measurements of our measurements there we have our battery management strategy or battery management control based on triple loop PI controller. Here we have a three PI controller. You have our lead acid lithium ion charging and discharging model, and you have our lead acid charging and discharging model. There with our model, it, the models are the same. We have our PI controllers, and you have our sorry, we have um, and then here we have our measurement of hybrid energy storage system from hybrid storage system. We have our lead acid and lithium ion measurements we have our measurements there and then we have we have our measurement of lead acid and lithium ion versus reference that means what the lithium ion the lead acid are supplying versus the reference current that they're supposed to supply this is our model you can get it through our donation to the channel And see, this is this was specified for the. You will get the. You can get the the paper in our. In our description. Now let's run our system to see the behavior of our system. Please don't forget to subscribe to the channel, share our contents, comment, and like this video. You can as well join our membership team or donate to our channel to have access to the models and to have a special attention on your request and guidance in your project. Let's just be patient as our system is running.
Now let's check our result to see the behavior of our system. We'll start first from our measurement of the hybrid energy storage system, where we'll see the hybrid energy storage system produced current voltage against the, the demand. Here we have our hybrid energy storage system current. That CCA is cranking current ampere, which is needed to start the car. Now we have our contribution between lead acid and lithium ion, and we have our uh, our currents in contribution, individual contribution. Now I see the measurement of our lithium ion and lead acid versus the reference. Here is our measurement of lead acid and lithium ion against the reference volt, uh, reference reference current voltage. Here we have our state of charge, the voltage, and the current. The same applies to the other battery. And then we have our measurement of be, the the comparison between lead acid battery and, lit, and lithium ion battery to see how much of each battery is supplying the percentage supply of each battery just to have a comparison thank you so much for watching this video please don't forget to subscribe the channel share our contents comment and like this video you can as well join and donate our channel